Yes. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Hmm. All right, look before you enter anybody's house anymore. I'll tell you. They have one of those ring cameras, Bobby. That's recorded, I yeah. guess. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. All right. Wendy in Parkton with 60, a lot of cloud cover. We've had a little bit of spotted drizzle from time to time during the day and the evening, and it's probably going to be more. 62 now, 63 Westminster, 57 Salisbury at Ocean City, chilly down there, 64 down in Fredericksburg, and 59 over in Cambridge. So some kind of cool temperatures, although our normal low is still only 49, 50 degrees, so we're well above that. We haven't had normal temperatures for quite a few days, actually. Precip showing most of the rain down in Virginia. There's some light drizzle beginning to show up around the D.C. area, although this is also what we call ground clutter. It's some false echoes caused by some low clouds and some maybe a little drizzle showing up and some more shower activity in Virginia. Eventually tonight, maybe a spotty shower or some drizzle probably breaking through the region. South of us, that's where the bulk of the heavier clouds are, the shower activity down across near Richmond, Virginia Beach saw some, southwest Virginia as well. And our region, a lot of overcast skies up to about the New York area, and then we get breaking into some clear skies to the west of us. However, there's another batch of rain developing that'll eventually get to us sometime on Friday. Scattered showers and some thunderstorm activity probably here Friday, along with much warmer air. Right now we're in this chilly air. The high pressure around Long Island giving us this east northeast winds off the Atlantic Ocean, which is still quite chilly this time of year. So low clouds. Trapped in the lower level of the atmosphere, maybe some drizzle here and there. Eventually, on Thursday night or Friday, this front goes through the region. We get back into the warm sector on Friday, back up in the upper 70s. That means scattered showers and maybe some thunder shower activity. Could even see some heavy downpours. Now, as we head into the weekend, Saturday, maybe a brief, brief break, and then some more shower activity breaking out. Saturday afternoon, even a little bit of a more of a break, and then late Saturday into Sunday, that second low pressure is going to give us a very good chance of rain and very chilly temps here on Mother's Day on Sunday. North of it's probably not so bad if you get up to New York and beyond that. Otherwise, tonight, cloudy drizzle likely 57 by morning. Tomorrow, eh, the same, the old same one. In fact, almost identical today. 69 with a lot of cloud cover and some spotty drizzle. The next seven days, 77 Friday and some thunder shower activity possible. 69 for Saturday and 61 chilly with rain likely Saturday night into Sunday. Monday, still a lot of clouds, but a little bit of sun maybe in the afternoon. Nicer Tuesday and Wednesday, wouldn't you know it? 73 and 78. So right now, Mother's Day plans could be in jeopardy if you're having a cookout.